Good evening, guys. Yeah, it's definitely been a very hard week for everyone here in Highland Park and for the surrounding communities as well. The couple we sat down with this afternoon described for us what it was like a week ago amid all of that confusion and chaos as they tried to get themselves and their three children out safely. The term running for your life was as real as it, as, as it got. Scott Emilfarb was sitting along Central Avenue last week with his little girl when gunshots ripped through the air. And all of a sudden you can you can feel not only hear but feel the 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 bangs of the shots were going boom 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 boom. He grabbed Estelle and says almost immediately he fell. And I thought to myself, like this is it. This is how I'm gonna go because I slipped and I fell. Um, as long as she didn't get hurt, you know, I kind of came to terms with it in a weird, in a weird mental space. While trying to get her out safely, he was worrying about his wife and other two kids a little further away, next to a float. I picked up Levi. I told Lexi to jump off the float, and we just started running through the parking lot and like hiding behind cars and trying to figure out what our plan was going to be. The fear, very real for five-year-old Levi. I was do? scared from running away. And eight-year-old Lexi. I thought it was just, oh, they're probably like fireworks. And I was like, and there, there was like three. Oh, that's probably fireworks. Another three. Hmm. Maybe fireworks stop. And I was like, seven more. And I was like, okay, it's not. And then I saw people screaming and running for their lives. The family finally found each other amid all the chaos. Thank God that everybody was still there, but you turn the corner. I mean, you grow up with these people and you see their little kids and families screaming and, you know, trying to find their parents. Everyone was scattered. Scott telling us he was worried initially for his dad, who'd thrown himself into helping others. Helping people get up, trying to get kids to get out of there. Now, a week later, they say it's incredible how everyone in this community has rallied around each other. Nobody should be involved in a, in a, in a shooting, whether it's Highland Park, Chicago, or anywhere else in this world. But their hopeful change will come soon, so that going forward, others can simply enjoy a 4th of July parade. It was horrible. Rather than having to survive it. We're tired of it. I mean, for them. Now, there are, of course, multiple GoFundMes going on right now for victims and fundraisers happening in town and elsewhere. A lot of people as well, including the email Farbs, are standing behind House Bill 5522, which would ban the possession and sale of assault weapons in Illinois. For more information on that ban, on that House Bill, rather, you can find it on our website under this story. We're live in Highland Park, Bruno Tumulty, WGN News.